Well, good morning. It's time to go camping again. And uh, we're just about ready to go. Uh, we've uh, topped up the tire pressure, loaded the trailer, and uh, Crystal's gonna check the lights uh, in a moment here before we go, because <laughs> one time we discovered the left tail light, the driver's tail light wasn't working at all, no signals or anything, and I had to do a quick uh, fix before we could get on the road again. Uh, so that delayed us a bit. So it's always good to check those things. Anyway, we're excited, and today we're off to Parksville on Vancouver Island. So we had a bit of excitement. Uh, we arrived, uh, got our water, and the water went really smoothly because I have a new attachment and I'm not using a water um, pressure regulator. So the water went into the water tank really quite quickly. I'm just lined up for the gatehouse here. It's Camping's very popular these days. Anyway, get to the campsite and, uh, you know, the protocol is we uh, level a trailer Put the chocks in. Uh, I put the stabilizers down, etc. Right um, now, I got some new leveling blocks. They're just the Camco yellow squares. And when we got to the campsite, it was um, we wanted just to come up on those blocks because the uh, wasn't level. It was off by a few inches. So I put the blocks underneath the tires. Uh, and just pull the trailer on top of them. And that worked out really well. Then I started to uh, take the, raise the tongue so I could uh, unhook it from the truck and the whole trailer moved back off the uh, blocks uh, because I'd forgotten to put the chocks in. Like a noob mistake, couldn't believe it. So that was pretty exciting watching your whole trailer like slide and the tongue was like dragging on the ground. I was like, oh no. Anyway, it stopped. We did the whole procedure again, this time with chocks, and it worked great. So I'm just uh, pulling up to the gatehouse to register, get some ice and wood for campfire, and uh, we'll be good to go. It's beautiful weather here. Summer's just arrived. Um, it's been kind of cool and uh, wet even and overcast up until, well, pretty much yesterday. And today's like just gorgeous. The re whole week's gonna be nice. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, so this is where we are down in the loops. So there's the past the gatehouse is the original campground, and then um, a couple of years ago they put in these loops as a campground expansion project, and uh, they book up real. Quick. Um, what's really nice about these, what I particularly enjoy is that they're very close to the beach, whereas when you're in the older campsite, uh, it's a, you know, it's just a bit longer to get there, and uh, you know, these are fine. So this is this is where we are, 225. I got to go around this little one-way loop. Absolutely gorgeous weather and lots of people arriving. I heard the uh, camp count, uh, campground uh, host say that she's been checking people in non-stop for an hour and a half. 
That's typically what happens because check-in time's uh, one o'clock. People will arrive. It's now just two thirty, so that's that's an hour and a half of people checking in. But these, all of these sites will be booked. Every single one. There will be one empty site. These pe people are just uh, a little late getting here, I think. The campground is uh, camping is kind of what you do these days. RV sales have been through the roof. So yeah, just this is the end of the the loop. You can see where these rocks are, and just down there is the path to the beach. It's great. You get up in the morning, grab a coffee, walk down, see if the tide is out or in. Watch the birds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we are. Okay, we can't do any more. We gotta go down and see the beach. We'll finish unpacking in a minute. Look at this trail. A short two minute walk. And this is why we keep, keep coming back to Parksville. Look at this beach. The tide is definitely out. I bet, I bet you'd have to walk 15 or 20 minutes to get to that water. Well, good morning. I have my coffee and I'm down here on the beach. I went to sleep really early last night. I was just bagged for some reason. Couldn't keep my eyes open anyway. Crystal stayed up. Went for a walk on the beach and now it's my turn. And uh, what a glorious day it is. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. And look where the water line is. It's way out there. And that's, uh, that's really something uh, special about Rath Trevor Provincial Park. And that's how, how long you can walk on the beach. It's just amazing. Um, and it's great uh, when the tide comes in because, you know, the it's very, very shallow. So the water is warmed by the heat from the sand, and it's just like bath water. And you can walk for, well, this is like just over a half a mile or a kilometer, <laughs> and you're just up to your knees. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great for kids, families. Lots of kids do skimboarding here in the puddles. Like you see all kinds of little pockets here where you can throw your skimboard down and run on the beach and just jump on it. And there's people starting to populate the beach now. It's just, it's early yet, but they're starting to come out. And people will be building sandcastles. This is the sandcastle capital of Canada, I believe. That's Tuesday, we're playing Fairlands. Nice hit. <laughs> 